A stunning moment in court today for a man accused of stabbing two teens to death in Lodi earlier this week. It appears that he tried to apologize to the victim's families today. Yeah, his name is Randall Allenbaugh. He's facing two counts of murder for the killing of a 16 and 17 year old. KCRA 3's Kay Reseed was inside the courtroom today when the judge denied the suspect bail. 16 year old Chimera Skaggs parents heartbroken after facing the man who was accused of killing their daughter. It just hurt very badly. Hurts, yeah. <laughs> he had no right to hurt our children. They were good kids. The Lodi Police Department arrested 29 year old Randall Allenboff for stabbing Skaggs and 17 year old Skylar McConnell to death earlier this week near Salis Park. Allenbaugh appeared in a Stockton courtroom today hand bandaged, emotional, and at one point appeared to mouth, I'm sorry to the Skaggs family. Mary was very sweet. She didn't deserve none of this. Neither did Skylar, you know. And in Lodi, near where the couple had been found, a makeshift memorial now honors the two. Friends say Skylar and Chimera were in a relationship. The love that Mary had for Skylar was better, more it's something intense than the love that I've ever seen. Far past infatuation. Friends add Alan Baugh had a fight with a couple two weeks before they were killed. And he grabs Skylar by the ankles, threw him out the tent, he clocks him in the face. Mary comes out to try to help and then he slams her to the ground in her face. Shaden Aristigi says he witnessed the previous conflict. I, I was stood there. I was scared. I couldn't do nothing. That's why I was. I have so much regret. It's because I I could have done something. As for what led up to the latest alleged incident, friends are unsure what really happened, but are left of the reality of two young lives cut short. It's tragic how they died. In Lodi, K Recede, KCRA 3 News. Randall Allenbaugh did not enter a plea. He's expected back in court early next month.